Hey folks, how you doing? Bob and Joe here. I uh, have been doing my best to stay off the political scene. <coughs> Some of it just aggravates the dickens out of me. Uh, some of it is just so stupid that it just baffles the average mind on how these idiots can be so confused. This whole ordeal about the children at the border is ridiculous. I don't see where the problem is. It's real simple. If you come to a foreign country and you enter illegally and you have charges pressed against you because you're caught, do you want your children to go to jail with you? Or is this just another anchor baby of sorts? Oh, don't arrest me. I have children. That don't work in this country. We have thousands of children that their parents are in jail. Some of them their only parent, some of them both their parent, but we don't send children to jail because the parents were stupid. This nonsense about they didn't know is just as stupid. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that if you come to a country illegally, chances are you're going to be separated from your little darlings. And guess what? Here's a news flash for you. We're not the only ones that do it. Our northern border, the hypocrites, Canadians, up there that likes bad mouthing Trump, they do it. Guess what? The southern folks down there, those hypocrites that like bad mouthing us and hollering we're racist because we don't just let all their illegals come in, they do it. Not only that, do you a search. <clears throat> Look up the Mexican newspaper. Last year, or no, 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 one last year, it was 2015. The money sent by illegal immigrants working in mostly America that went back to Mexico has now exceeded the amount of money that Mexico gets off their oil fields or wherever the whatever oil money is they get their oil revenues in 2015 it was over 24 billion dollars sent back to Mexico And they said most of the workers were in construction. Now you explain to me all these people that are telling us how they're not up here milking our system. No, they're paying their own way. How can they be paying their own way and sending 23, uh, $24 billion back to Mexico? Somebody's lying to somebody. I'm a simple man. It don't take a whole lot of hard math to figure this problem out. Their children are not going to jail from the border. The picture that they like flashing of them kids sleeping behind chain link, that goes back to Obama days. Now that's not saying that they still don't have chain link. They do. But they use the chain link as a way of making walls. The kids are still allowed to flow in and out and all of that. 
Another news flash. Trump didn't start this. This started way back. And none of the presidents have tackled it for a long time. It's one of those things that they don't want to talk about and don't want to deal with because there's not an easy solution. There's no political gain in it. Trump told them a long time ago, told all of Congress, fix it. It's your problem. Fix it. When it became obvious that they was not going to do anything, and all he was doing was enforcing the laws on the books. He didn't make up new laws and he passed these laws so he's having or he made these laws and he's having them enforced. He didn't do that. He was enforcing the laws on the books. Something that the previous presidents had not done. So now all of a sudden he's a bad guy for enforcing the laws of the land. I don't think so. I think he's pretty damn courageous. <coughs> they wouldn't fix this problem because it's too good of a political tool to use for elections. So then he did his executive order just the other day. And I'll be damned if people ain't happy with that. He didn't do enough. And this is politicians saying this. He didn't do enough. No, you didn't do enough. You need to do your job. Quit trying to put your job off on the president. Do your job. Go to the table. Meet with all the other wasted money idiots and solve the problem. Quit passing the buck. It's that simple. I tell you what, it drives me nuts. It really does. It's real simple. If you don't want to get separated from your family, don't come to the United States illegally. Period. What was the saying that we grew up with? If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Period. If you don't want to get separated from your children, don't come to the States illegal with children. There's a lot more I can say, but you know what? We all know the truth. Don't we? They're not ripping babies off of the one nonsense story CNN had going. How they ripped the baby away from the mother that was breastfeeding the baby. Now all of a sudden they can't find the woman. They're finding out it was fake news. I'll be damned. And I've read so many posts from these brainwashed, Kool-Aid drinking idiots. Really? Now if you support protecting our borders, you're a Nazi. Stick the Nazi up your nose. Stick all your name calling somewhere. It's falling on deaf ears. Nobody wants to see children harmed. Not of the average people. Yeah, there's some weirdos out there, but they vote Democrat. Uh, the children, I was watching a report on it. And our people that's taking care of the children are having to teach some of these people about inside toilets. 
Isn't that awful? They're being allowed to use inside toilets? Why don't they give them a bucket? They're Nazis. They're having to teach them about personal hygiene and about showering. They're giving them games to play, the Nintendos and stuff. Sound like them children have it really rough. And there's already a, a law on the land that you can only keep these children for so long and they have to be passed on to someone. When did it become popular to try to make our country out as the bad guy? Worse yet, from within. Really? Folks, don't buy into it. Don't buy into it. Trump's doing a damn good job. And the thing with these children, it's real simple. Their little plot of Russia, it didn't work. Their little evil deal about guns, it didn't work. That prostitute, what's her name? It didn't work. So this is just another ploy. And I can't really say from the Democrats, because it's come from both sides. But this is just another ploy, another way to distract you from some of the other stupid nonsense that they're doing and getting by behind our backs while they have you focused on the poor children. Whenever they start pointing at something like this that you know is nonsense, you need to be looking over here to see what they're trying to get past you. They're up to something. <laughs> They don't give a damn about them children. If they gave a damn about children, they would talk about all this abortion nonsense. Killing babies in the womb. How come you can go to Mars and find the tiniest microism, and that's life on Mars. But yet a baby in the womb is not life. If they was worried about the children, why ain't they work in our ghettos? We have children that are starving to death. We have children that are living in the streets on their own. You don't hear nothing about none of this, do you? Because they really don't care about children. They care about distracting you. So if they can get your focus over here on the border, they're going to sneak the elephant in over here. Look at the peanut. Come on, elephant. Yes, I honestly feel that way. I just had to get it out of my system. I've read so much about it, it's just sickening. The only thing worse than the whole story that they're telling is the people that's buying into it. How can you be that stupid and that gullible? to buy into all this nonsense. Knock it off. Get your head out of your ass and think straight for a little bit. Man. Alright, I've said enough. Probably said too much. Remember, the good Lord loves us. And he loves the children. And our country is not the bad guy. Y'all have a blessed evening. I love y'all too. Good night.